More than 180,000 student athletes utilize scholarships to finance their education every year, according to the NCAA. But thanks to COVID-19, student athletes, their parents, coaches, and everyone involved in the recruiting cycle has had to adjust to a new normal. Lisa Strasman is the president of Next College Student Athletes, and she joined me this week to discuss the impact that COVID has had on an athlete's ability for advancement. I'm Kevin McShann. Let's have this conversation. Strasman says that the pandemic has spared no mercy on athletes and coaches' ability to get connected and take advantage of everything the recruiting trail typically has to offer. Yeah. Kevin, the pandemic has definitely had a tremendous impact on the college recruiting process. It's a confusing and challenging time to be a student athlete, for sure, especially for those student athletes who aspire to play at the college level. Official recruiting visits and tournaments, camps, um, all remain on a long list of cancellations and postponements. And so really, for the last year since March of 2020, the majority of NCAA coaches have been in uh, what's called a dead period. A dead period restricts all face-to-face contact between college coaches and student athletes. So that's been a huge change. And the dead period for NCAA Division I schools remains in place until April of 2021. Uh, Normal recruiting calendars did resume for Division II back in September of 2020. In addition to the changes in face-to-face contact and the dead periods, the NCAA also granted an extra year of eligibility to 2020 seniors uh, in winter and spring sports. So athletes who um, missed over half of their seasons were eligible for an extra year of eligibility. Um, There's still lots of questions around how many of those student athletes will actually take advantage of that extra year. Um, we're, we're also seeing an increase in uh, student athletes looking to transfer schools. Uh, and there's been a significant increase in college coaches recruiting digitally, which I can talk a little bit more, more about as we get into things. So really, what does all of this mean? Uh, there's definitely greater competition for high school student athletes to find roster spots on college teams. Student athletes, though, should not give up hope. The recruiting process definitely looks different than it did a year ago, but it's still very possible to achieve successful outcomes if uh, student athletes are committed to the process. And I know that only about 2% of college athletes are awarded uh, scholarships annually. So I'm curious to know your thoughts on how much of a disadvantage the uh, pandemic has had in that regard. And Certainly. How do you think uh, kids have been able to pivot to show their skills? Yeah, so 
based on our conversations with college coaches, the vast majority of college coaches uh, didn't expect their scholarship amounts to be impacted by budget cuts. However, with extra years of eligibility for seniors, there's more competition for those college roster spots. So with the seniors being granted an extra year of eligibility, it's still not entirely clear how many of those returning seniors uh, will actually be coming back and eligible for a scholarship. So um, it's also important to keep in mind that athletic scholarships are really one of many ways that student athletes can earn funding to help pay for college. The NCAA recently changed the rules around student athletes receiving academic scholarships. So there's actually more opportunities right now for student athletes to receive scholarship money by combining athletic and academic scholarships. And athletes with really strong grades can get academic scholarships and merit grants from colleges. And those grants don't count against their team's overall scholarship um, amounts. So it's a great way to get more funding, help your team, help your coach, uh, if, if you have the grades to, to give that assist. And I know that you run a Next College Athlete as a platform for uh, high school students to get, get noticed to advance their athletic career. So I'm, I'm Wondering your thoughts on how your work has changed in the work that you do as well because of the pandemic. Yeah, uh, you know, we, we've, we've really had to adapt the way that we've been there for student athletes. Just, you know, as the, the process has gotten harder for them, um, number one, just being there for the kids, making sure that they have an outlet, uh, someone positive in their corner to talk to and help keep them um, with a great mindset has been a huge focus for us over the last year. It's certainly been a really challenging time for student athletes and for their parents for that matter. So uh, we lead a variety of classes for student athletes and workshops, just try to get them talking, keep them positive, keep them motivated. And then we've also seen a large uptick in our college coach uh, usage. College coaches have always used our platform to recruit digitally. Over the last year, digital recruiting has really been the only game in town. So we've had, um, you know, a lot of college coaches using the site to help uh, discover talent and connect with athletes. And I know that as we get out of the pandemic, kids will be anxious to get back to some semblance of normal. I'm wondering uh, your thoughts on how do you think uh, the recruiting process has been improved uh, because of the pandemic? And do you think we've learned anything uh, that can help make it more efficient moving forward? Yeah, it's a great point, Kevin, and good to look on the positive side of things. I do think that this last year has shown um, first that recruiting is po definitely possible without some of the resources college coaches once relied on. Programs have had to adapt by creating virtual campus tours and um, watching, watching virtual events and Zooming with potential recruits. Um, you know, when, when we surveyed college coaches, over 70% of them told us that they've either had to make or anticipated having to make budget cuts uh, to their recruiting budgets. And so with reduced costs, that means that even when it's safe to travel, coaches likely won't be traveling as much as they did before. And um, digital recruiting will continue to be an even more important resource than it was. Um, and coaches don't have to be on the road as much. So I think that is a, a positive change. Uh, we've seen great advancements with streaming of events. Uh, with college coaches unable to attend camps and tournaments this past year, there's been an explosion in coaches watching games uh, online through live streaming. And um, you know, again, coaches have gotten more comfortable and familiar uh, relying on digital tools like NCSA. So that'll certainly remain a key part of the recruiting strategy, even as more live events are reintroduced. And I also think that coaches really, you know, had, they, had to dig deep this last year to figure out really how to promote their school and their program without in-person visits. And I believe that forced them to clarify their value prop and differentiating points and really to double down on those um, as they're presenting them to student athletes. And in terms of smaller schools, uh, in terms of budget cuts and the like, do you think that uh, digital recruiting has certainly, certainly helped them find a, a level playing field in recruiting kids and giving them uh, 
equal opportunity through digital recruiting? I definitely think that 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 it's a huge a huge help. Uh, you know, the the smaller schools and smaller programs, the types that are being cut, you know, they do have really small budgets and they can't travel around the country uh, to find talent the way that um, you know the way the bigger bigger schools uh, with larger budgets do. So these lesser known schools are really able to get their name out there and talk to student athletes from all over the country. All over the world in many cases and really um, help you know figure out what they what what student athletes are, are the right fit for those programs and um, make those connections so I think that's extremely helpful and you know it's definitely been heartbreaking to watch um, you know teams get cut this year there's been about 300 college sports programs uh, across all divisions uh, that that have been dropped over the last year and you know, hopefully that's not a trend uh, that continues. And, um, you know, in the meantime, for those that have uh, come to an end, we are, we're always here at NCSA to help those student athletes find new college programs if they're looking to, to transfer to another school. And as we uh, sort of transition out of this list, I wonder if you uh, believe, we believe once we get to a uh, uh, some semblance of normal again. Do you think there'll be an influx on how recruiting used to be done in terms of coaches uh, coming to platforms like yours to find kids? How do you think we'll reintroduce re, uh, normal once the pandemic is over? Yeah, I, I think it's anybody's guess. I can't predict what'll happen once there's some return to normalcy. However, I can definitely say with certainty that digital recruiting will remain an important tool for college coaches and student athletes uh, for, the, for the future, even when coaches are back in the physical recruiting trail. Uh, there's only so much time and so many places they can be at once. So the, the digital recruiting element um, you know, is definitely here to stay. Um, what else comes back or changes, it's, it's hard to predict. And I'm wondering if you had some message to any college athlete who may be watching this, who may, or high school or college athletes who may be watching that, this that may be discouraged about having to go through COVID and sort of put the brake on their athletic development from having a coach or, or program see them, what would be your message uh, to uh, kids that are looking for a positive ray of hope uh, moving forward in their athletic careers? Absolutely. My biggest advice is to, to stay positive, find a support network where you can, you can talk to friends or peers or coaches or anyone and um, keep your eye on the prize. Kids are still getting recruited. At NCSA, we helped over 25,000 student athletes find college roster spots this last year in 2020 seniors. So it's still happening. It just looks a little different than you expected. I know it can be really, really demoralizing not to be playing or even not to be playing it the same, in the same ways that you expected to, but um, don't give up. Uh, again, for student athletes that are looking now, uh, it's cool. It's also important to remember that you're not alone. Every student athlete out there is impacted in similar ways. And college coaches know this. So their expectations are, have altered as well. So, you know, they're not expecting the same level of video uh, that they may have been a year or two ago. They understand that everybody's doing their best to showcase their skills and um, you know, get, get gameplay under their belt and all of that. So um, if, if you have any kind of video, it's better than nothing. Uh, and also be proactive with coaches. They want to hear from student athletes who are really interested in, in, in working the process and potentially being a good fit for, for their school. Um, again, stay positive, stay active, stay proactive, keep your grades up. That's such a huge part of the process. And the better your grades are, the more opportunities will be available to you. COVID or not, uh, college coaches want student athletes that can get into their school and earn academic scholarship money. So that's a, a huge piece of the puzzle as well. So again, just keep, keep your eye on the end goal and don't flinch at the setbacks. You'll be stronger because of them.
And I, I'm curious to get your thoughts also on the the role that social media plays in getting kids out there. How effect how how is the best effective way they can use it, and what would be your advice there as well? Yeah, social media is a really important tool uh, for recruiting. It's a great um, opportunity for student athletes to take advantage of as long as they're doing it the right way and using it professionally. Uh, you know, also platforms uh, like our NCSA Athletic Recruiting Network, it's really important that student athletes have their athletic profile. They can showcase um, everything about, about who they are for college coaches and start doing that as early as freshman year so coaches can see their progression and, and start to follow them. Um, there are lots of great resources that uh, student athletes should take advantage of. And if you had the platform to give a message to parents and coaches about how to approach this to time, what would that be? Yeah, I really think, um, you know, positivity, I think for parents to um, just be there to support their student athletes and let them know, you know, not, not to give up hope and to stay positive, even though it's such a challenging time. And uh, again, to, to be proactive in the process, it's a great time to be interacting with college coaches. And um, for college coaches, um, you know, I think the same thing. Um, there's still tons of student athletes out there and there's many kids who are the right fit uh, for their student athletes. And even though they can't get out or for their program, and even though they can't get out and see those student athletes in the same way that they did in years past, there's lots of them. There's lots of opportunities still to really, really narrow in and use tools such as NCSA to find those right fits for their program. And, um, you know, I think uh, you know, at, the, at the end of the day, it's going to make it that much sweeter when everybody is out, out playing together uh, and enjoying the benefits of uh, uh, being, being college, college athletes and college coaches. Uh, yeah, cheers to a little bit of normalcy, huh? Hey, yeah. I'd say so. <laughs> hey, Liz, I'm curious if anyone wants to get connected with you personally uh, through uh, uh, your next college athlete platform, how can I do that? Yeah, so would love to hear from anyone uh, who's listening, who has any questions or, or wants any help or just wants to learn more about NCSA or the recruiting process in general. Uh, you can go to our website, ncsasports.org. I can fill out a free profile there and someone from our team will contact you. You can also reach me directly at lisa at ncsasports.org. Fantastic, Lisa. I really want to thank you for taking a few minutes with me, uh, with me to talk about the future of college recruiting and college sports. Really enjoyed our discussion and I want to thank you for your valuable insights and perspectives and for being here this afternoon. It's most appreciated. Well, thank you, Kevin. Thank you for having me. I, I love talking about this stuff.